Good morning, welcome back to Erasmus TV. Traditionally, thousands of students start their time as a student at the Eureka Week, but this year it will probably be all very different. Here to give us an Eureka Week update is the chairman, Sander Doude van Troostwijk. Very welcome. Thank you. But we start at the other side of the table. Welcome, Rutger Engels. Um, last week the announcement came that students will only be allowed to travel between um, 11 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon with public transport. This is one of the, well, uh, restrictions, uh, this travel restriction is one of the conditions, I should say, for restarting um, live education. But is this 11, 3 o'clock schedule doable or even acceptable for this university? Yeah. Um, I think there are two sides of this to this story. So first of all, it's very restrictive. It's really narrow because if you do the math, well, it basically means you, we can like teach for two or three hours on a on a day, and that is, I mean, makes it har hardly possible to um, accommodate all the students. On the other hand, we decided to do online um, teaching and exams uh, for the rest of the academic year. So in principle, uh, this academic year, very few students will come to the to the campus anyway. Um, the, the problem is, however, next year, next academic year, is when we start up the hybrid form of education, and then it's essential that we open up more, uh, because otherwise we can't accommodate. We can accommodate only a few percent of the students. So we definitely are making a strong plea to the ministry to also have these kind of agreements on public transport as local as possible. We are, I mean, in different, it, it's different here than in Groningen or Maastricht. So we have to, our plea is to make it to uh, make the arrangements locally. Yeah, well, we know she sometimes watches, so hopefully this you will take it into account. Um, Sander, back to you. Hey, you already announced that Eureka Week will go on this year. And with a lot of adjustments, I should say. So I could ask you what will be different, but I think I should probably ask, is there anything that will be the same? <laughs> well. In essence, the Eureka Week still remains the same because uh, the pillars we stand for, so uh, for prospective students to get to know the city of Rotterdam, uh, the Erasmus University, and student life, um, that's still what we're aiming for. It's just the way that we're doing it this year or the way that we're aiming for reaching those goals, that's what's going to be different. So yeah, there will be, there will be big differences, but it's still mm -hmm. the three pillars that we're, that we're aiming for. Yeah, but before we talk furthermore on Eureka Week 2020, let's first take a look at back at 2019. This is the Eureka Week as we were, well, all familiar with. <laughs> Does it already feel weird to see such a crowded event? <laughs> yeah, well, it's been a while, right? Since yeah. we've been able to go to uh, these big events. Uh, but does it feel weird? Well, not necessarily, no. Um, yeah, and your goal is to achieve a Eureka Week that's blended, so online and offline. But what kind of offline events are you planning? Yeah, so what we're doing this year is indeed a blended Eureka Week, and it's um, online because it's possible, offline if it's possible. Um, so the offline events, it's, as long as it's, uh, we take into account the measures taken by the government, we want to organize as much events or as much activities, I should say, uh, as possible. Uh, and you can think of uh, tours throughout the city, picnics, uh, tours through buildings, of course, taking the one and a half meter uh, restriction or rule into account. Uh, you, s you keep 
telling us about the pillars, you know, getting to know the city, the university, each other. But is that even possible with, well, the, the one and a half meter distance? Because Eureka Week is all about getting to know each other and perhaps some partying, um, a little bit perhaps. But is that even possible if you would have to take the distance into account? Well, of course, Eureka Week is about creating memories, memories together with your group and with other students, with your guides. Um, however, um, it's a challenge, but I think we can manage. It, it should definitely be possible. And this year, it, yes, it's going to be different and it's going to be a challenge, especially the social aspect, like the, a one and a half meter is, well, something you definitely have to be aware of when you meet someone, which you normally, normally do not do. Um, so, um, wait, can you repeat it? <laughs> we saw the video and we saw thousands of students, like f over 4,000 freshmen partying together. That won't be possible. How big can groups get, do you think? Well, that's something we don't know, of course. Uh, and it's going to be uh, impossible to put 4,000 or 5,000 people uh, into one room uh, again, just like we did in mm -hmm. previous Eureka Weeks. Uh, but this year we're definitely look, uh, looking into the possibilities where we can still have this feeling of being together without actually being together. Yes, Rutger, I heard that you were pretty enthusiastic about the plans Eureka Week has, but sorry, I don't really hear a lot of plans. I hear a lot of, well, things they want to do. What is, uh, how do you, how, why are you then still, well, feeling happy about these plans? Well, I mean, first of all, studying is more than sitting mm -hmm. behind your computer, behind your les desco desktop and, and uh, following courses and doing exams. So what, you're, what he is saying is it's, it's this, about the student life experiences, meeting friends, making friends. Uh, that is about, that's what um, uh, studying is. That is what camping, campus life is. And um, I think what the, the, the plans they are making are amazing. I, it's a major challenge to do so, given the uncertainties and the changes that have to be made, but I, I'm incredibly proud of, proud of doing so. To be concrete, you have to ask him what the plans are, not me. Are there any plans? Yes, well, yes, of course. Uh, but we don't want to uh, send anything into the world without knowing, without knowing for sure that it's going to happen. So like I said, the online part is because it's possible. It will be an interactive digital platform where students can get to meet each other as well, but in an online uh, version, um, but student to student, but also student to associations. And we'll try to accommodate that by uh, hosting talk shows, having Q&As, uh, playing games together. Um, but then again, back to the, the uh, small scale activities, uh, the physical activities. That's uh, something that well, we're still talking about with the municipality, with the university as well. Um, so before we know anything for sure, uh, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. But physical uh, meetings would require places to sleep. Yeah. That could be a challenge. People are, could stay here. Oh, well, other years they could stay here at Erasmus Board Building. Are you going to allow that this year? Um, well, to, to be honest, I didn't really think about that yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will have uh, good discussions with them with the Rekha uh, Week board uh, on this. So I don't want to like uh, go into this right now. Yeah. And then the last question, if this is a different Eureka Week, perhaps mostly online, does this mean that you don't need crew or guides or other volunteers? Because it's a popular position among students to be a guide, for example. It is, but we definitely need them uh, this year as well. Especially, like I said, if we're doing as much activities as possible and in as many locations as possible, we'll, me we'll need them maybe even more than, than we normally do. Um, and given uh, the fact that chances are that there will be more uh, participants this year, uh, especially because there's a summer without, well, actual opportunities to do anything, um, we, we need them more than ever. Okay, so you're trying to make sure that students will still get to know the university, each other, and Rotterdam, and you're still, well, in all these meetings discussing how, <laughs> right? Well, not, not really. It's, it's um, well, uh, the, the meetings are constructive, of course, uh, but it's hard giving the uncertainties, like Rutger said, uh, to give um, a certain moment in time when we know for sure, when we know everything. So chances are that changes will be uh, made or will, will have to be made 
uh, before the Eureka Week. It's it's just the uncertainties uh, in this in this current situation. Yeah, but August 17 is the date. Well, it should start. Still, freshmen can put it up in their calendars. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Wow. And for a little side note for the internationals, it starts for, uh, on the 16th of yeah. August. If we have any internationals coming, of course. Of course we of will. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. well, we will see about that. Um, thank you all for watching for now, at least. We will be back in a week, so see you next Tuesday. Thank you all for watching.